Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel Alexander George here and this is the response video that you have been waiting for uh, as you all know I posted this video on my Instagram and I have so many comments and questions that that must be answered, right? It is a Q&A, it's my first Q&A. It's cabin crew related, it's job related, travel related, and you know, just general my lifestyle and, and, and the way I live. May I ask something? <laughs> yes, you can. What's the most adventurous thing you've ever done? So, it has been recently, I've been hiking. For the first time I hiked with some friends and we encountered a bear. So I just spotted a bear, it was like 100 meters away. And uh, I, I never saw a bear in the wild. So I, I told my friend, just look over there, you know, what is that? And he's like, oh, oh hell, that's a bear and then we backed off and it was pretty, pretty intense because we didn't know if, if the bear was going to follow us in the end we managed to go off that area so we made it it was dark by the way that's the thing it was dark it was a night it's pretty scary so yeah that's one of the most adventurous things i definitely did where did the idea come from to be a part of etihad crew you search online for information or a friend presented you this opportunity. Well, to be honest, first, at first when I was in Romania, I wanted to become an air traffic controller in Romania. Yep, that's true. That's my whole aviation beginning thing. Uh, as I applied to be an ATC, I failed the test. It was like a five or six hour test that I took in Bucharest and I failed it. A few days later, I had this sponsored, you know how you see on Facebook these sponsored ads? Well, I had one of these ads and it was a cabin crew job. And I was just looking at the job and I was like, yeah, I could do this. I could do this, I could definitely do this, you know, it, it just clicked, you know. And in the end, I, uh, I end up applying and I got a job at uh, Etihad, so yeah. What's the best country for adventures? Well, good question and to be honest, I think each country has the potential to be the most adventurous country for you. I mean, in the end, your experience dictate as if that country is adventurous for you or not. So I think this, this thing like is, is subjective, um, so I cannot actually answer this. Do you miss Romania? Yes and no. Why yes? Because it's home, obviously, it's where my family and friends and relatives and, you know, the places I love, the places I grew up with, all those things are in Romania, obviously. But no, in a sense that uh, the quality of life is not that good for the vast majority of people. Since I'm in Abu Dhabi, like, I, I don't feel like I belong somewhere per to say because I travel a lot and I see all these nice places and I don't know I know my home is Romania you know I'm, I'm from Romania but I feel like it's home but it's not home at the same time does that make any sense I, I think not but it makes sense for me strangely another question what's your favorite thing about living in Abu Dhabi now this is a good one Definitely the good weather because I like going swimming, I like going to the beach and although right now I'm not tanned, <laughs> I like getting a tan as well, so yeah, I like that. How old are you and from where you come? I'm 24 years old, come from Romania, just talked about that. Um, what do you enjoy the most about being a cabin crew? Traveling or money? Very good question, Christian. Very good question. Well, I would say some people do it for money. I mean, they just get a cabin crew job. Uh, they come from, uh, you know, uh, uh, lower income countries, you know, countries in which you, you earn 
a lower income there and I don't know standard and of course you just you stay in the hotel in the layovers you don't go out you don't spend money you don't buy new things you don't enjoy life so you just save and save and save and save and that's okay but life has to be lived as well I think I think the answer for me is I enjoy it both equally I enjoy traveling, I enjoy having a good paycheck and I also save so I would say there's a balance, I try to keep a balance and that's the answer to your question. What are you doing tomorrow night? <laughs> well right now I'm in Manchester so I'm having a layover here but anyway I know this question was different, had a different meaning. What place have you been in the Philippines and what is your favorite destination over there? Well, in Philippines I've been to Manila and my favorite place I would say is Tal Volcano just because you know it's majestic, it's beautiful, it's amazing and I took all of these GoPro pictures over there so yep definitely Tal Volcano. The Kund I wrote the DV cabin crew well, that all started uh, basically two years ago when I saw that sponsored ad on Facebook and it just clicked like that and that's when I wanted to become a cabin crew. Short story. Ce ai face după ce ai vizitat toată lumea și te plictisit de viața de cabin crew? Well, a very good question. That's in Romanian, of course. I guess the answer and the obvious answer is settling down. Although I feel like I'm a rebel, like I, I couldn't just, you know, make up a family and, you know, settle down and, you know, be with my kids and just do a 9 to 5. I don't know, I, I, I don't know right now if I could do a 9 to 5 job. But, in regards to what you said, I will tell you this. It is hard to visit all the places in the world, so you always have space for more that's what I think so that will never be complete therefore you can never settle down <laughs> if you think like that it's a way to look at it uh, another question are you satisfied with your salary and how does it work out at the end um, yes I am and for my, for as much as I give for as much work I put in, I feel like I I, uh, I deserve that salary, which is good. But at the same time, I have my goals in life. So for the moment, yes, I am satisfied with Dubai or Abu Dhabi. Which city do you prefer? Well, good question. I live in Abu Dhabi, but I often go to Dubai as a city to live in. I like Abu Dhabi more. It's more chilled, it's more uh, traffic free, <laughs> that's very important, trust me. And I like the environment, to be honest. Dubai is more like a destination that, that you go in vacation, if that makes any sense. And that will be the answer to your question. When will you do an apartment tour for us? I could definitely do that on YouTube. What are the most important qualities that a person must have to work as a flight attendant? One of the qualities that I think you must have as a cabin crew is to be approachable and to be confident. And I think these two really matter. It matters when you go for an interview, if you want to become a cabin crew, it matters on the job itself. You must be confident at all times. That's one of uh, the best things and I think that's a good quality to have and that will be the answer to your question. How old are you? 24, I said before. Why do you want it to be a flight attendant? Good question. Each person should have a why. So, well, that means that each person should have a reason to do things, certain things or to go different paths. People that don't know where they are and, and they don't know where to go or they don't know where they want to go, well, you know, you will not go so far in life just by playing Russian roulette. I think because it ticked all my boxes. I like traveling. 
I like uh, meeting new people and new cultures in the 21st century. It's one of the ma most amazing things nowadays. So many people, they relocate for their jobs or they go for business um, and, and then they move from their home. It's what I notice when I go back to Romania in vacations is that people have the same habits. People are doing the same things that they always did. Uh, constricted in their own environment do you know what that means that's that's basically that means you're limiting yourself to that same spot that in which you have always been why I mean why would you do that that's why I wanted to be a flight attendant Ești român? Da, sunt român. yes I am where do you play gym LOL I don't know what to say to that except the fact that maybe where do you go to the gym? I mean, you know, you usually play football, but you don't play gym. You just go to the gym. Is it hard to be a fitness lover and a flight attendant at the same time? What can you say about this one? Good question. Yes, it definitely is and I'm glad you asked. Some days, to be honest, I just don't have the drive to go to the gym anymore. It's different. Back home in Romania, I had also a flexible job, but I was able to go six times a week, sometimes to the gym. Right now, just, I don't know, let's say I just grew up and responsibilities came in and I'm working, so it's, it's a bit tougher for that part. I will still look good when I go to the beach. I will always look good when I go to the beach. That's the thing, that's what I want to keep. I don't want to go fat or something. <laughs> so if that box is thicked, then I'm okay. This wraps it up for this Q&A. Thank you so much for uh, watching this video. I'll try to make more videos like this because it really got a lot of engagement on Instagram, like seriously. Thank you very much for all your uh, questions. Follow me on Instagram. I will post a lot of things and I will relate my Instagram to my channel. I will post questions there, answer them here as I've done with this video. Thank you very much for watching, subscribe and see you on the next one.